Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. I haven't made one of these in a long time, so I decided to make one today. I've just been really busy. I have tests and exams and a whole bunch of other projects I need to work on, but uh, I found a free moment, so I decided to make a tutorial. And so for this tutorial, we're going to be going over a quick one. We're going to be learning how to create a simple pie chart in Java and NetBeans or Eclipse. If you guys are using Eclipse, it doesn't really matter for this one. So for this pie chart, I decided to create something with Windows, Linux, and Mac, uh, just showing you what percentage of people is using what operating system. I just made up these values. You can see when you hover over the pie chart, it tells us Windows is 65%, Mac is 20%, and Linux is 15%. We also have a legend at the bottom, and we have labels on the side as well as a big title. We can also resize this, and it resizes the graph or the pie chart, I guess you could say. So the pie chart is sort of laid out in a 2.5, uh, 3, I got that say it's a 2.5D. Uh, layout you guys can see it's it, lo it looks pretty cool it's not just a plain 2d layout so the first thing that you need to download is two libraries the first one's called jcommon 1.0.23 that's the one i'm using you can download the latest version and jfreechart 1.0.19 i think i downloaded the, the most common ones um, but i'm going to provide a download link in the description to get both of these in a zip folder so you can just unzip them to your desktop and use them as required so before we get started i just want to apologize for not making videos in a long time i have made a few videos i haven't made any tutorials because i've just been really busy and i found a free moment today so i'm going to be making two tutorials today uh, the next one will be on how to create a weather app okay so what we want to do now is we want to uh, we want to create a new project. So we're going to go to File, New Project, Java Application, and untick Create Main Class. Now you just want to name it anything you want. So I'm going to call this Pie Chart Tutorial. Hopefully I spelled that correctly. Then we want to create a package. You can name the package anything you want. It's usually your uh, domain name for your website backwards, but that's too long for me. So I'm just going to type in App Package. Now we're going to create a class. So this class here is going to be called, uh, let's call it create chart. That open up my other screen. Okay, there we go. And I'm just going to delete this bit of code that NetBeans always throws in there. Okay, so now that we have our basic setup done, uh, what we want to do is we want to create a main class. So let's go to file, uh, sorry, right click on AMP package, new Java class, new class, and let's call this main, let's call this main class. Okay. okay, so what we need to do now is we need to import these two libraries. So the best way to do this is to click on the files option um, right here on this left hand navigation pane. Click on your appropriate tutorial. Mine is called PyChart Tutorial. Right click on it, go down to properties, and you want to copy the project folder URL. Click on OK. Go down to your file browser, and where it says this PC, you just want to click on it, press Ctrl V, and you will automatically be redirected to your project folder. We're going to create a new folder in here called lib and that stands for library and you just want to drag and drop uh, drag and drop the jcommon 1.0 and jfreechart 1.0. Okay so now that we have those two imported what we need to do is we need to actually import them for use in NetBeans. Well we didn't actually import it before we just uh, put it in a directory so it doesn't get lost when we create a distribution file. So we want to right click we want to go back into our projects pane on the navigation pane Right click on your uh, your project, go down to properties, click on the second category called libraries. You want to go to add jar slash folder and it's going to take you to some random place on your computer. So what you want to do is you want to navigate to the same place you were just a second ago. So mine is in the documents folder, NetBeans projects. Um, my one is called PyChart tutorial and in the libs folder, uh, if I can open it, you just want to select both of them. To select both of them, you can just highlights no you can't highlight so you need to press control or you can press and hold down shift and once those two are imported just click on ok and then you are good to go so what we want to do is we want to say public class create chart extend jframe and you want to add the import for jframe we aren't going to be using the NetBeans features this time we're just going to be creating it manually so now what we're going to do is we want to create a uh, constructor so we're going to say public create chart and for this create chart we're going to put in a few parameters so we're going to type in string uh, app title that's going to be the title for our application press uh, the semicolon string chart title so the app title is what shows up on the top here 
and the chart title is what shows up when we actually run the program. So our one said, which operating system are you using? Okay, so now we can start typing in some parameters. So we're going to type in pi data set, and this is going to basically be, and this is basically a data set for a pi chart. So pi data set, and just give it a random variable name. So we're going to call it data set is equal to create data set. Okay, so the create data set we have uh, we have yet to create, but you can add the import for pi data set. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is we want to create a chart based on this data set, create data set, which we will do in a second. So what we need to do is we need to type in j free chart, give it around a variable name. We're just going to call it chart is equal to create chart. So once again, create chart is going to just be a uh, generic method for now. You want to add the import for j free chart. And in here, we want to type in a few parameters. So the parameter is going to be data set. And the second one will be the chart title, which is up here, same thing. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to put the chart into a new panel. So we're going to create a chart panel. Once you can, you're going to have to add the import for that. We're going to type in chart panel, chart panel, chart panel. Okay, great. Is equal to a new chart panel, open close brackets. And in the brackets, you want to type in chart. So the chart comes from this chart right here, which we just typed out a second ago. Add the import for chart panel. There we go. No errors on that right uh, on that line. So now what we want to do is we want to set the default size for the chart panel. So we're going to type in chart panel with the small c. Remember dot set uh, chart panel dot set default. Oh no, not set default. Set preferred size. My bad. And in here we're going to type in a width and height. So we're going to type in uh, new java.awt dot dimension open close brackets and then we're going to select a width and height so i'm going to select a width of uh let's go with um, let's go with 500 by 300 width and height great now what we need to do is we need to add our content to a uh, sorry we need to add all this content here this chart panel to a content pane so we're going to type in set content pane and what we're going to set in the content pane is the chart panel which basically has everything inside of it so we got the data set we got the title we got everything stored inside this chart panel and the chart panels uh, size is 500 by 300 okay so now that we have that done what we need to go and do uh, now is create the data set and then we're going to create the chart so let's go with the data set okay so we're going to go ahead and type in private because we don't have to access it anywhere else private pi uh, pi data set and you give it a random variable name create data set it's not a random variable name actually because we uh, came up with a variable name up there so you guys can see that the error has um, has disappeared so what we're going to do now is we're going to create a data set. Now what the data set has is basically all the data that's going to show up on the pie chart. So for us, we're going to have Windows, Linux, and Mac. So we're going to type in default pie data set, which is the method in uh, the jfree chart. Give it a random variable name. Let's call it result is equal to new default pie data set. So open close bracket, semicolon. We'll have to add the import. There we go. Now we can type in our value. So we're going to type in result dot set value. And for the first parameter, it's going to take a string. So for the first parameter, let's go with windows. And then we need to specify the percentage. So we're going to go with 65%. Uh, I think that's what we chose. Then we're basically just going to copy this and do it for Linux and Mac as well. Select your own. Um, value so Linux okay once you've done that you're just gonna return result semicolon and now that is done the last thing we need to do is create the chart so let's go ahead and do that now so we're gonna type in private j free chart create chart remember it must be the same spelling as uh, what you said here now you can see we took two uh, two values two parameters data set and 
chart title. So we need to make sure that we include this here. So we're going to type in pi data set and give it a run variable name. Let's call it data set for now. And then string title for the chart title. You can see the error has disappeared. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to actually create the chart. So we're going to type in j free chart. Give it a random variable name. I'm just going to call it chart. Is equal to chart factory. I'm guessing that's where they create the chart. Um, chart factory dot. Okay, and what you guys can take into mind, you have a lot of different charts that you can create. So if you guys want more tutorials on how to create uh, various different charts, make sure to leave a like on this video. Leave a comment if you want to see how to create bar charts, bar chart 3D, whole bunch of other cool stuff. There's a lot of awesome stuff you can do with this. But for now, we're just going to be creating a 3D uh, pie chart. So it's going to be called pie chart 3D. Okay. Now you guys can go ahead and read through this. Okay, so the first one is going to be the title, the first parameter. Okay, so the first parameter is we're going to be taking in the title, which is already done for us. The second parameter is going to be the set of data, which is uh, inputted for us. Now the third one is going to be if we want to include the legend or not. So we want to include the legend or also known as the key. So I'm going to click on true. Um, the next one is going to be true as well and the last one is going to be false okay so let's go over this real quickly again the first one is the title the second is the set of data you want the third one is if you want to include the legend or not if you don't want the legend make that false um, the next one after that this uh, second to last one is if you want the tooltip so if you hover over it do you want it to show the percentage and stuff like that and the last one is locale I'm not too sure what that is but I'm just gonna leave it as false Okay, so now that we have the data done, we can actually plot the 3D pie chart. So we're going to type in pie plot 3D. Plot, give random variable name, is equal to pie plot 3D. And then we're going to type in chart dot get plot. Okay, now what we have to do is we have to add the import for that. Okay, and now we are almost done. All we have to do is set a few more parameters. So we're going to type in plot dot set start angle so you can set the start angle if you want let's set it as zero for now and then we can play around with it a bit later so i'm going to type in plot dot uh, set direction so this is um, the rotation for the direction so if you choose uh, an angle of 50 degrees it'll rotate the uh, the pie chart 50 degrees in a clockwise direction you can go with clockwise or anti-clockwise it's up to you and the next thing that we want to do is we want to set the foreground color. So we're going to type in plot dot set foreground alpha, and we need to set an alpha uh, alpha. So we're just going to say 0.5 f. That's an alpha, and then we're going to return chart. Okay, and that's that's it, guys. Now all we have to do is create our main class and basically just run this bit of code right here. So we're going to go into our public class main class. And now what we're going to type in is uh, create chart. Let's call it CC is equal to new create chart. So what we're basically doing is um, creating an object of the create chart class. Okay, now if you remember correctly, the create chart takes in two parameters. So we need to select, uh, we need to give it, uh, provide two parameters actually. So the first one is going to be called Let's say pie chart test. That's going to be the title of that's going to pop up on the top. Then we're going to be comparing operating systems. OS comparison. So that's going to be the title of the chart itself. Now what we need to do is we need to type in cc dot. Oh. Oh, hang on, guys. I actually forgot to create the main method. So what we need to do is we need to type in public static void main or PSVM and then click on tab and it'll create the public static void main class for you it'll create the main class for you then just dump in your create chart um, bit of code into that now once you are in your main method you can type in cc dot pack so what cc dot pack does is it just packs up everything into your J frame so the next one is cc dot set default close operation and you're gonna type in J frame dot exit on close so when you click the uh, X the red X on your computer what will happen is it'll close the um, it'll close a program 
So now the last one that we need to do is we need to just set it to be true so we can actually see it. So CC dot set visible so you can actually see it and you're going to make it true. So now when you run this, you guys should see, oh, let's actually compile and build first. Now when you run it, you select your main class and you guys should see a pie chart pop up. And as you guys can see, it does in fact show up. And you guys can see OS comparison. You got your Linux. Um, and you can see we have our tooltip. That's called a tooltip when it pops up like that. Mac and Windows. So now we're going to go over the rotation. So let's rotate this by, let's say, 90 degrees. And it's going to rotate it in the clockwise direction. So as you guys can see, the whole thing has been rotated by 90 degrees. You can also make this thing open up in the middle of the window. If you want to open it up here if you want. But you can show a whole lot of information on here on screen. Um, it doesn't really matter. You can play around with a few, uh, few parameters such as the foreground alpha and you guys will see that uh, sort of the transparency changes a little bit. You can see this is more transparent. And if you, you have uh, between 0 and 1 for the alpha channel and you can see the alpha channel of 1 is uh, completely opaque and 0.0, .0 will be completely transparent. So anyways, uh, guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please don't forget to leave us a like, comment and subscribe if you haven't already. Just want to thank you guys for uh, still subscribing even though we haven't released a tutorial in a long time but if you guys want to see more tutorials like this how to create uh, a lot a lot cooler uh, graphs and charts and ways to represent data for your own applications make sure to leave a like it only takes two seconds so thanks thanks for watching guys and I hope to see you in the next video